pay YouTube. There are a lot of good investors on the eToro platform, and today I want to introduce you to Sharon Connolly. So Sharon Connolly has this fund on eToro, and she's been a long time investor on the platform. Let's take a look at her stats, her portfolio, and her journey. So first up, let's look at the stats. So this year has been a challenging year as we know. Um, we have had a global pandemic. But Sharon's not doing too badly. In fact, she is up 12%, nearly 13%. You can see that in Feb and March, the portfolio tumbled. But it's been bouncing back strongly in April, May and even in June. Last year, she had a blowout performance. She did about 47% plus. Uh, the year before was quite bad. She did minus 40%. And the year before, she probably jumped on the Bitcoin uh, bag again. So she had a very good uh, performance in that year. So I think the 2018 performance shows that even good investors can have uh, their moments where you know they make bad decisions and that can cause an account to go down significantly so it's always a constant uh, duty to ensure that as investors we make the right decisions and that we take into account the long-term consequences of those decisions chasing after the latest or the hottest stock or commodity can often be not the right thing to do. Currently, Sharon has about 45 copies and I think she's closing in on about 50k in assets under management. If we take a look at her portfolio, uh, it's somewhat similar to almost uh, index. We have some of the biggest names that are also present in the uh, index like S&P 500 or NASDAQ, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, we have NASDAQ 100 ETF as well, PayPal, Facebook, AMD, Shopify, Google, Mastercard, and even the Australian index. You can take a look at some of the other stocks. This is a Bitcoin position over here. She also invests in some Ethereum. But a lot of other good companies like McDonald's and Salesforce. Even as Alibaba over here. And generally she seems to stay fully invested as well. So the reason I wanted to share her story and her achievements is because I think it can inspire a lot of uh, people. So Sharon basically made regular small investments and conscious decisions and slowly over time, over many years, she managed to turn $20 into $100,000. In 2013, Sharon found herself stuck in a terrible financial predicament. And as we saw from her portfolio, it was around this time that she started her eToro portfolio as well. She had just left a 17-year marriage and was in a financial mess. Um, she was also unsure about her career opportunities. And she was very afraid of being stuck in a dead-end job. It was around that time that she got a $20 uh, voucher for eToro. And she basically used that to invest in some Facebook stock. At first, she thought it was a scam. But uh, after a few months, she discovered that uh, the money had actually grown and she could actually withdraw it as well. She did her research on the platform and she found out how it worked and she uh, enjoyed using the platform. It was also very simple to use. Besides investing, she also made 
uh, behavioral changes that allow her to invest more. She began making regular small investments and conscious, conscious decisions to open positions instead of buying clothes and shoes. So I often tell people too that instead of buying an iPhone, you should buy Apple shares. They'll probably appreciate much more. And I think Sharon made similar decisions as well. So after seven years, she built her portfolio into a six-figure account. Now she feels totally in control of her finances, which is a huge achievement for her, considering the predicament she was in following her divorce. She reflects that all the money that she has in account could easily have been frittered away on frivolous expenditure. But she made slight behavioural changes and that resulted in not just a large savings pot, but a considerably higher return on her investments. Now having more money has given her the freedom to make better choices with her money. She can plan better and evaluate options for the long and short term. She's also much less stressed now and she's able to help her friends when they've been stuck, which is a great position to be in. So, as mentioned, her uh, portfolio dipped during the recent coronavirus uh, crisis. She lost even up to 20% in the first few days of the crisis. But as mentioned, now it's on its way back up. She's up for the year, like more than 12%, as, as we saw. In fact, she took the opportunity to invest a little more than she normally would. But she was always mindful to keep cash on hand in case of emergencies. So eToro is a useful platform. She likes eToro because you can start with small investments as little as $50 now. Uh, they introduce fractional shares and they have zero commission stocks for companies listed on US exchanges. And I have a link in the description tab. Uh, if you use that link and if you're eligible for the $50, you can get a bonus $50. And I encourage you to use that. It's free money. Sharon also has a website and I'll put the link to her website in the description tab. So check out her website if you're interested to know more about her. If you'd like to be a patron and a supporter of the channel, jump over to our Patreon website and you can subscribe to one of our membership levels. You can also gain personal access through me and also my immediate thoughts and actions in the stock market through this call at about five dollars per month we look forward to seeing you on the discord chat so if you like what you saw in this video uh please uh, give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel if you have not so for future updates and if you like the, the general platform, the eToro platform, and you like the ability to copy good investors, I suggest you join the eToro platform. You can use my link in the description tab, and you can even get an extra $50 to start uh, trading. So, thank you for watching. I hope you took away some good uh, points from this video. I hope you stay with us on this journey, this long-term journey, and we'll see you in the next video.